This video will walk you through downloading and installing the latest ISO image of Open Media Vault. Then we'll walk through the initial configuration. Links are in the description for the files and software used in this video. So first we're going to need to download the Open Media Vault ISO file. Then we will need a tool called Rufus to create our install USB drive. And finally we will need an SSH client called Putty. Now that we have all of our tools downloaded, go ahead and open up Rufus. We just need to select the ISO file we just downloaded. Leave everything as default, click start. Go ahead and click yes to download the syslinux file if you get this prompt. Go ahead and use the right, recommended write method and click OK. And finally this will format the drive, click OK and we'll wait for this to finish. While we wait for this, we can power down the server and disconnect the power cables to the drives that will be used as storage. So only the drive being used as the system drive will have power. This will cut down on confusion during the installation. Now that we have our USB drive for installation, boot the server off of it and select the top install option. Choose your language, region, and keyboard mapping. Go ahead and provide a host name for the server. Domain name can stay local. Need a root password for the server. I'm going to use 1234 here. Confirm it. Select your time zone. Select your country. Select the server. Don't need a proxy. Select the only drive listed for the bootloader. Go ahead and remove the USB flash drive and select continue. After the server reboots, take note of the IP address here at the top and then go ahead and log in with the root username and the password you set during the install. And we're going to just type in the word shutdown now and hit enter. This will shut down the server so that we can reconnect the power to the drives we disconnected for storage. Reconnect the power to the drives that we're going to be using for storage and boot the server back up. Back over to your Windows PC, we're going to use PuTTY to SSH into the OMV server. You can use the IP address that you noted earlier or you can use the host name you configured during the setup process. Here you can see I'm pinging the host name and it's returning the IP address that we saw earlier. Go ahead and open up PuTTY and enter either the host name or the IP address. Make sure SSH is selected and click open. You will need to accept the fingerprint from the server. Enter your root username and password that you created during setup. And you are logged into the command line interface of the OMV server. Here we can update and install OMV extras. Enter this command and this will go out and download OMV extras. Now type this command to download the updates for the server. And finally we'll type this last command to do the upgrades. Select no configuration on the post fix config. Once everything is finished upgrading, go ahead and type reboot to restart the server. Now we just need to browse over to the server. You can use the IP address or the host name. If you use the host name, you may have to click the link like I did here because Google does a search by default when you type something into the address bar. Enter the default credentials here. The username is admin. The password is just the word Open Media Vault, all one word, all lowercase. Starting at the top here in the general settings, we're going to change the auto logout timeout to 30 minutes. Go ahead and click save. And then we're also going to need to change the web admin password. This was the Open Media Vault password you just used. We'll go ahead and save this and then apply it. On to the date and time here. Go ahead and select your time zone. I personally use the NTP server and we're just going to click save and apply. Now we need to set up a RAID array so let's go over to disks and click on scan. Once this finishes scanning you should have all the drives listed for storage. Now we just need to set up the array. Let's head on over to RAID management. Click on create and select the drives and name it whatever you want. I personally name it storage and then select your RAID level. I'll leave a link in the description below of different RAID levels so you can make your own decision. Now let's head over to file system to create a file system for the RAID array. 
quick and click on create and select the device here you should have your raid array listed select it label it whatever you want again i use storage file system since omv is running on a linux based system i just leave it as an ext4 this will format all of the drives in the arrays so go ahead and click yes to do so once the raid array is finished formatting go ahead and mount it and click apply and we are finished setting up the omv server in my next video i'll show you how to install docker and a few useful containers for downloading movies and whatnot hopefully this video has been helpful for you if so subscribe and watch for my next videos thanks for watching